Boy, I do look like a like a crazy person, but that's okay. Oh, that's locked. We gotta get the old phone out and do my passcode entry. So I know uh, these videos aren't the most popular, but I do enjoy doing them. So today we are going to be talking about Earth's Sun. So Earth's Sun, interesting. Earth's Sun is a G2 main sequence star and it is getting to the end of its first life cycle. So what does that mean? That means that the sun uh, basically eats itself. It is a big gobbly gook machine of heat and uh, eruptions and fire and everything hot. And what it is burning is a large amount of hydrogen. So hydrogen is the uh, primary fuel source that the sun is consuming right now. Uh, as it runs out of hydrogen, it will burn hotter and hotter, putting off more and more light energy towards our planet. And that light energy will heat up the planet. Uh, as that is happening, the sun, like a sparkler, uh, will have a good flash at the end uh, when it burns out and then it will expand into a red giant so a red giant kind of like superman's sun and uh, that one is going to be out to one au which is one astronomical unit in circumference in circumference which is exactly where we are sitting as the planet earth so we're here the sun's here one au and then it will expand out to where we are the question is will it push earth further out as it expands or will it just drag us in and engulf us in the sun so as all of that's going on which is happening now we're seeing more light energy coming from the sun uh the magnetic pull on the earth is tilting ever so slightly down about three uh 3600 miles please do not let me in 3600 miles away no no not yet i'm vlogging that's okay anyway so as the Earth's magnetic poles tilt, they've moved about 3,500 miles uh, to the south. That has reduced our Earth's magnetosphere uh, by 9 to 10 percent in effectiveness. So that means that more light energy will be coming from the sun. The Earth will be collecting more of that energy because of the magnetosphere weakening, and that is going to raise temperatures on the sun. Uh, from the sun to the earth, so raise the earth's temperatures irregardless of what we do. Pumping carbon and things like that into the atmosphere only makes things worse. So we all need to start thinking about some solutions like my idea of giant inflatable solar sails in space that block some of that sunlight from the earth, hence reducing the light capacity and saving mankind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's not about time travel. It's about real stuff. So enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, I will see you very soon.